Wendy Smith, No Fear From Here, um, 2018, wow, pretty amazing, pretty exciting, um, new year, new beginnings, or maybe just a continuation of some great stuff from last year. I've just um, started off quite nicely, I've got some lovely January goals and I've just done yoga this morning so I'm feeling very relaxed and it made me start thinking about the word busy and how often we all say we're busy and I guess my idea is what would it be like if you didn't use the word busy for a day, right, just tested it out. So. The things you were doing were your choice. It wasn't as though you were forced into it because busy feels really forced. What if we changed our language, reframed it, had a different perspective? You know, today I choose to do all of these things. Today I choose to be productive. Today I choose to feel good rather than I'm busy, I'm too busy. I don't have time to do what matters. I don't have time for what's important. I don't have time for yoga. I'm uh, I'm just too busy, it feels uncomfortable and kind of a little victim to me, I guess, in many ways. So if we could be more empowering with our language and what we choose to do and what we want to do and why we're doing it. But if you had a little test, just for a day, to not use the word busy, I've, I've been experimenting with this for probably about six months now and seems a bit strange but I actually feel a bit less busy um, and at work my manager does this fantastic thing where she also chooses not to use the word busy so um, we often talk about lots on good things happening and it just feels so much better than busy lots on good things happening it just like feels like a more um, in charge my choice I'm taking control it feels like of what's happening in my life so Back to me working on my board um, behind me and everything that's happening for this year and I hope it's the best year you've ever had. Big growth, big learning, big excitement and especially lots of feel good. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.